<laughs> oh, that was awesome. I love those things. I used to have one when I was a little kid. I don't know what happened to it, though. 1996 Nintendo. Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, AMF1534 here. Welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. Blind. That's right, I have never played this game, not once in my entire life. I haven't even seen gameplay footage of this, which is a, like, complete blasphemy. You would think somebody as, you know, as diehard of a Donkey Kong fan as I am, considering that I played the absolute shit out of the second game, you'd think that I would have, you know, at least played this once, but I didn't. So this is going to be literally a 100% blind run, and I love doing blind runs of stuff. It'll be uh, fun for you guys, too, because watching blind runs of things is usually pretty pretty entertaining. So here we go. By the way, I love this whole, like, wooden VCR thing with three slots. Freaking tight. i got to get one of those for myself. So we're going to be playing by ourselves, a one-player game. For those of you that do not know who I am, my name is Adam. You can call me AMF. You can call me, well, really, whatever the hell you want. This is long... Because I don't hate it. Just run it by me first, and then we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Let's play. Let's uh, shove the old tape right in there. Let's see if maybe it'll give us uh, some backstory here. That would always be nice. If this is anything like the second one, I'm going to be set. This is going to be great. Look at her! Hello there, it's me, Mrs. Wrinkly Kong. In my Pilates wear. I found life too hectic at school with all those naughty Kremlings pestering me all the time. If you need to save your game, Dixie, call here anytime. I'll probably be working out, but it's all good. And I'll record your progress on my new Vidme What's It machine for you. So, on your TV slash VCR, what the hell is that thing? Is that like a banana and a bird, like, meshed into one? That's really awkward. Bye-bye, Dixie. Try to find some of those nice banana birds. It is a banana bird. What the hell? Weird. And she has a lava lamp. I want a lava lamp. I used to have a lava lamp back when I was in high school, and I, and I named it Jorge. It was pretty cool. Bazaar's General Store? We're talking like Bazaar, like the big black wrapper that was in... Was that the wrapper that was in D12? I think it is. Hey, look at me. <laughs> Hello there, young Dixie. My name's Bazaar, and this is my general store. All of my brothers are scattered over these islands. Hop in and say hello if you meet them on your travels. So then, how can I be of assistance to you? I have two items in my shop that you can buy, but I don't have any money, so I don't think that's going to be happening right now. Hey, you just have a really nice day now, Dixie, you hear? Come back and see me. Okay, well, there's enough of that. Let's let's go over to Funky's Rentals. I saw that he he had a he had a place over here. We usually don't ever. I know I usually never go talk to him, but I guess we kind of have to. Yo, Dixie, what's happening? I've set up my smoking new boat shop on this island, but that's not all. I've also brought your excellent cousin Kitty Kong along for the ride. Guess I'm flipping this ball peen hammer up and down. He may be a toddler, but you can if you let him throw you upwards, you'll almost reach the stars. Oh yeah. And if you throw him, his humongous body can smash through the floors of some areas. Tied. So he's pretty much a leviathan. You need to sign him up for football. Let's, let's take the old motorboat. Time to catch some rays. Alright, so now what are we doing? Oh, cool. We have, like, complete control over everything. What's up here? I don't even know what this is all about. Uh, did we just, like, ride the thing up on the beach and, like, explode that thing out. Bounty Beach, what's this all about? Whoa. We're playing musical crystals? It's like DDR. What the hell? And we got a banana bird out of that. Cool. We're only four minutes in and we're already being useful. This is outstanding. That's not really what I expected. I guess we're gonna go down here. Alright. Lake Orangatanga. It's quite the name. I'll run with it though. Look at this place. It's like summer camp without the rape from the counselors. Because that's appropriate and everything. Hey, look at this. This uh, this looks all too familiar, even though I've never played this before. It you know it looks and feels just like all the other Donkey Kong games. That that ironically starts out with you doing the same thing that you did in the second one, where you you know you run through the thing and you go and jump on a rat. Oh, the rat. It has a name. Had a name. So let's see if this... Oh, cool! So that's how that works. That's, they said that's how it would work. 
so I was just following directions, because that's what I'm supposed to do. Collect 50 stars. Let's check it out. Huh. I must say, I do I do like the, uh, the bonus theme music from Donkey Kong 2 better, but I need to not have really strict, um, you know, expectations here, because that would be really unfair to this. But... If the soundtrack is anywhere near as good as it was in the second one, then I'm gonna be oh, I'm gonna be smitten by that. Look at this guy. What's his story? Apparently he's impervious to everything. And he's got a bucket on his head. Well, I wonder if he can withstand the power of the sauce! Because apparently his name is the sauce now. Oh wow, okay. Well, he can take on everything then. Oh, we'll leave him alone then. I, I... I'm sure he probably has a purpose that I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to sit here for an hour and a half trying to figure it out. I'm sure one of you guys will be kind enough to tell me what that is. Wink, wink. Hey, I want up there. I want it. Hey, you should go up there, man. Or maybe not. Let's see if maybe it'll work if uh, maybe I throw her up there. Yeah, there we go. Hey, cool. I saw something up there, so I figured maybe we'd get lucky with it. Oh, cool. Already getting to already getting our sea legs about us. This music's like it's so it's so cheery sounding. I wonder if we can break the floor again. Let's let's try that. We've already we've already seen its ability once. Ooh, we can't do it right there. Oh, cool. It's an elephant. Weird. Look at this little guy. He kind of reminds me of Dumbo. He's just not quite as gigantic in the ear category. Do they have like, do they have special abilities like the other ones did? I don't know. Apparently not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess maybe not. But I want to know how to get into that bonus thing down there. By the way, and just in case you're wondering if this is gonna be a 100% a run, I'm gonna have to probably go out there and say more than likely it's not gonna happen. Just because of the idea. I've never played this before, and I'm usually not very good with doing 100% completions of games that I know down to the T. So. Let's uh, let's just not worry about that right now. We'll, we'll get into that later, maybe. I'm liking this game already, though. It's it's pretty cool. I like I kind of like the uh, the level layout that we're working with here. That's kind of cool. Ooh, that's a new innovative idea. Pulling on these things to open up the doors. Kind of it kind of reminds me of the concept of uh, Gauntlet uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Save keys to open doors. Even though we're not using keys, we're just pulling on those weird. It reminds me of those like those weird exercise band things that they have at the gym. What's up with this? Is that how we get back down there, or what's in there? I, I kind of wonder if there's. No, well, we're not gonna know now. Too late. What the hell are these? Weird razor blade bees. Yeah, that's 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 regular. That's that's pretty normal. That's something you see every day. I I remember those razor blade things that I saw earlier this morning. What kind of balloon is that? That's weird. Yeah. Lower the... Or I guess I'm not lowering the bridge. I'm, I'm lifting it. And we get bonus. Collect 60 star. Oh, they're, ra they're really raising the stakes on us now. We got the Vegas stakes and everything. Come on, baby. I should probably let this thing go all the way down. There we go. Get down there. It's so, it's so like upbeat and like cheery. I, I, I love it. Do I have to go back in the other room again? Oh, of course. I really like to exploit these new things here, though. Okay, now we can head up this way. Let's see if maybe we can get done with this this level before I cut the episode off. God, more of these. I feel like I'm gonna learn to hate these guys a lot pretty soon. They're freaking like chainsaw bee things. I don't even know what to call. I don't even know what to call them. It's just weird, of all things. And these weird rising and falling pieces of eye beam that are there for no apparent reason. I wonder if I can. Can I? No. I need to I need to hurry up with this. Oh, see, I can. But why? Why would I? There's got to be a reason for that. Well, I guess I'm not going to find out. Oh, damn it. Look what you went off and did, Adam. You wasted too much damn time. I'm going to throw that damn curse into that damn pond. All right, get up here. 
crumbs, crumbs, crumbly crumbs. I got crumbs all over the place on my desk. That's just uh, problematic. Crumbly, crumbly, cripply, croopy. Come on, son of a bitch. Let's. Ah! God, I hate these guys already. They're just. They're oversaturating me with them as it is now, and that's that's gonna be that's gonna be just lovely. Oh, by the way, I got a story to tell you guys. Oh, god damn it! Ah, no! Just about gave me a damn it. Just about to say you just about gave me a haircut, but oh no, we're dead. Yep, I already hate him, and he's crying. That's just great. Okay, so yeah, let me let me t let me get the story out of the way while I remember it. So I had a guy come into my store today. <laughs> this, this fucking guy. He was totally wasted. And I mean, this this does not happen very often. I, it's, it's quite the rare occasion when I have people that are totally drunk off their ass come in looking for vitamins. But this guy, he was, uh, he comes in with his wife. And I guess he, you know, they had just left the bar. And so, you know, he was totally ripped out of his gourd. Damn it. There's like a little bit of lag on these barrels here. Still trying to get that down. There we go. So he's totally, you know, tore up from the floor up as far as being drunk is concerned. And, uh, he's like, he's like, hey, you guys got any of that super colon cleanse fiber stuff? I'm like, uh, yeah. And he's, he's, he's like, oh, don't mind me, I, I've had a couple of beers already, and yeah, I, I couldn't tell, or anything. Not, not even close. And, uh, he's sitting here, Tell me, he's like, dude, I, I used to buy this stuff in in California all the time. I mean, it was it was the stuff, man. I mean, you you take it and it and then all of a sudden you just you'd be pooping out all this black licorice looking stuff, man. It was the best. I'm sitting here like, yeah, I I know. I've heard the stories. You know, I do I do this for a living, so you know, it's something that I'm quite used to hearing. And uh, his wife's just sitting there looking at me like, just don't even mind this guy right now. He's like, oh, by the way, don't worry, I'm not driving, she is, so, you know, it's, it's all good. He's like, but you don't have the one I was looking for. I was like, yeah, I do. He's like, well, where is it? I don't see it. I was like, it's right, in, you're holding it in your hand. He's like, oh, oh yeah, it's right. And he's like, uh, he's like, dude, this stuff's all bad. I was like, it's not that bad. I mean, when you take into consideration what you're doing with it, it's actually kind of a good thing. He's like, you know what? He's like, you know what? You're absolutely right. And he like looks at his wife, he's like, this fucking guy, right over here, he, he, he knows the stuff, man, let me tell you what. <laughs> and she's just like, I can't even believe I'm in public with this guy right now. This, he is such an imbe- Wow, okay, you should, you should let me fall further next time. I kind of, I missed something up there, though. I'd go and, I, I, ha I could, I have a, a, like a rewind button on my controller, but I'm not going to do that, because that would be cheap. The save cave, huh? I might as well go to the save cave, why not? We'll give it a go. Is she playing a Nintendo 64? Wait a minute. Did the... Hold on a second. Nintendo 64s weren't even around yet, were they? No. They couldn't have been. Is this, like, indicative of... Was this, like, giving them a hint that this was going to happen before it happened? Oh, Donkey Kong, you slick little bastards. That wouldn't surprise me at all if it was. Can somebody confirm that for me, if that be the case? Can I go up here? What's this? Barnacles Island. All right, we're gonna go in here really. Well, I'm gonna finish up my story after we go in here really quick, and then I'll be done for this episode. So let's let's see what we got here. Hello there. How's it going, Kongs? Barnacles the name. And I've set up home here to build a shell collection. Yes, I used to be a scuba diver, but I've given it up. I just take it easy here at home now. Well, that's nice. So glad to hear it. That was a total waste of my time. So yeah, he's uh, he's sitting there, he's just like, this fucking guy, man. So I, I sit here, I'm like, you know, I could probably mess with him a little bit. Try to mess with his mind, since he's obviously pretty pretty wasted. And so, he's, I was, he's sitting there like, oh yeah, dude, this stuff's all bad. I was like, but it's, it's so bad that it's good. And he's like, oh god, you're fucking right, man. It is so bad that it's good. And I was like, that doesn't even make that much sense, but he's going to run with it, so that's cool. <laughs> I love having drunk people in my stores. It's it's hilarious. And then he's sitting here like, by the way, my wife, she can't shit for shit. She's, like, she's been taking that Miralax stuff, 
And she just, she can't shit for shit, man. I, I, I started taking account of how many times he, he said shit over like a five minute period. And he was like, he was close to 30. Not to mention he was talking way too loud so everybody in the store could hear him. And she's just like, she's got the face palm action going on. She's like, I hate my life. So that was that. I thought that you guys might want to hear that story. It was, it was pretty good. So, when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play... Dixie's Double Trouble, because I don't think I'm going to refer to it in the long, full, like, proper title, because it's long enough as it is. When we come back next time on Let's Play Dixie's Double Trouble, we get to have some title trouble, which means it's probably going to be a, a, a water level, which is going to be really weird if this, if it is, because I think, like, the third level of Donkey Kong Country 2 was a water level. If I'm, no, it wasn't. It was the fourth one. Okay. Just solved a mental problem there. Cool. All right, guys, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a lot of fun with this series, so stick around. We'll uh, we'll enjoy it. Bye, guys.